السلام علیکم گائز دس از اسد بٹ لائف فرام اسلام آباد لائف فرام نرس لائف فرام کالج آف پی ایم ای اس میں میں جو سی بلاگنگ ہے وہ کچھ نئے انداز سے کروں گا مطلب میں وائس اوور جو اس کا میں جو اس کا وائس اوور ہے نا میں یہاں اس پیاری سی کرسی میں بیٹھ کے کروں گا یہ ایک نیا انداز ہوگا اچھا سب سے پہلے ای ایم ای کو ہم بائے بائے بولتے ہیں ریس ٹویلتھ کی حدود میں داخل ہوتے ہیں داخل ہوتے ہیں ساتھ ہی ایک نئی دنیا ہے ایک نیا کلچر ہے اس کے ساتھ ہی نائس کے ڈپارٹمنٹ میں ہم گئے وہاں اس کے بالکل ساتھ این آئی ٹی سیمینار ہال جہاں پہ زنش خان نے آنا تھا وہاں ہم جا کر بیٹھ گئے اور دس سے پندرہ منٹ کے بعد وہ تشریف لے آئی تھی ٹھیک ہے اور اٹ واز اے ویری نائس ایکسپیرینس اچھا فرسٹ ٹائم میں نے کسی ایکٹریس کو اتنے نا لائف دیکھا ہے اور میں بالکل فرنٹ سیٹ پہ بیٹھا ہوا تھا شاید آپ کو ویڈیو میں محسوس بھی ہوتا اچھا یار ویڈیو بعد میں دیکھنا پہلے میری تو سن لو ہوا کچھ یہ تھا کہ یہ پہلے سال کی بات ہے مجھے یاد ہے پہلے یا دوسرے سال کی بات ہے تو ہم گئے تھے یہ میڈم سے ملنے ملنے مطلب دیکھنے ملے تو نہیں تھے تو یہ میں نے ریکارڈ کر لیا تھا اس وقت اپلوڈ بھی کر دیا تھا لیکن اس پہ نا کاپی رائٹ کلیم آ گیا تھا اس کی وجہ سے میں نے اس کو نہ روک دیا پرائیویٹ ویڈیو کر دی اور اس کے اندر کچھ سینس بھی تھے سینس بھی تھے جس کو میں نے کٹ کر دیا اینڈ آئی تھنک ناؤ اٹس اوکے ٹو واچ سو انجوائے جس سرمنی تھی اس کا آغاز جو سا تلاوت قرآن پاک سے ہوا مزید مزید کچھ فن ایکٹیویٹیز ہوئی ان کے ساتھ جو کہ میں ویڈیو میں دکھاتا ہوں I probably was the only crazy child who would change the entire idea of profession every few months. And my father was like, what do you think you're going to be in the end? So I always used to tell my father, hey, why to be just an engineer or why to be just a photographer? Why can't we have different set of skills and work towards it? Because, you know, it'll get boring for me to just like doing one job. So, um, although I think, you know, um, I wanted to be a photographer and aeronautical engineer and an interior designer, all inspired by people from my family, but I never really thought I would end up acting for some weird reason. Although I come from a very filmy background where I remember that my mom used to wake me up to music because God knows that's the only way to wake me up. So. Um, my mom would be like dancing with my father to like while preparing my lunch for school. So you know that kind of background I come from. But I never thought that I would pursue acting as a career. So I think basically acting Mona was not a struggle. Maybe struggle start with really when I acknowledged my talent and when I wanted to pursue it as a career. So the next question is how easy or difficult is for women to come into this industry? I feel it all comes down to one point which is um, an acceptance of a working woman. I think if we have this society, mein acceptance aa jai, ke women are just as capable as men and uh, they have the ability to conquer the world, I think they have a long way to go. Um, but if we talk about um, freedom and um, boundaries, I think that is something every individual has to set for themselves. وہ آپ کے سیلف پرنسپلس ہوتے ہیں جو آپ فالو کرتے ہیں بیکاز اے لاٹ آف پیپل لائک ون آئی ٹاک ٹو فیملیز ایون آن دا سیٹس ہوتے ہیں نا لڑکیوں کے ساتھ مائیں آئی بھی ہوتی ہیں سو دے ویری اسکیئر کہ یار ہم ایکٹنگ کرنے تو دے رہے ہیں بٹ یو نو کیا کریں پتا نہیں یہ شو بھی سے کیا ہو جائے گا بٹ آئی تھنک وٹ ایم اباؤٹ ٹو سی ایوری بڈی ول اگری ود دیٹ 
कि इट्स नॉट जस्ट शो पिस इट्स एनी अदर प्रोफेशन आउट देयर यू कुड बी वर्किंग इन अ मल्टी नेशनल फर्म एंड बी प्रोवाइडेड विद ऑल दो सेम अपॉर्चुनिटीज बाई द एंड ऑफ द डे इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन यू आर एंड द काइंड ऑफ चॉइसिस एंड डिसीजन यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इन लाइफ सो आई थिंक कि डिफिकल्टीज कहीं पर भी हो सकते हैं If you just believe in yourself and have faith in God, you have a long way to go. Question: I want to know what are the common difficulties by actors face in industry, and how they can overcome it. Some of the difficulties. Do you want me to be honest? People from my world will kill me after this. <laughs> But I think a uh, lack of professionalism. Um, punctuality issues major punctuality issues and miscommitment so now if we talk about international standards like hollywood or bollywood for that matter unke paas proper baqaida agencies hain who are working on behalf of artists who take care of their schedule who take care of everything like if the artist is committed for 8 hours they make sure they only work for those 8 hours not more not even a second more and if they do under any circumstances they get paid accordingly but here in pakistan unfortunately we have to deal with everything on our own running for checks and maintaining our schedules and you know stuff because yahan par agar aap apne manager se baat karwa le to it's considered rude ki acha aap aapke manager se baat hogi because you know the whole environment is like that so i think i'd really like to change that and here's an opportunity guys मुझे तो ऐसे लगता है कि कुछ जगहों पे अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपके पास आती हैं कुछ जगह पे आपको क्रिएट करनी पड़ती है तो हेज अ डिपार्टमेंट यू कैन वर्क ऑन यू कैन बी यू कैन यू नो ओपन अप एन एजेंसी जो कि आर्ट इज मैनेजमेंट की हो एंड यू डू दैट सो या व्हाट एडवाइस वुड यू लाइक टू गिव टू स्टूडेंट्स इंटरेस्टेड इन प्रोसेसिंग एंड करियर अह हाउ डू यू अम व्हिच इज नॉट एज शैलो एज जस्ट बीइंग फेमस because i feel there's so much to life than that and it's just me i can't speak for everyone in the hall but i feel being successful is far more important than money and fame because that is something that lasts forever and you're even remembered for it even when you're gone so i think that is what you matter new dreams to pursue nahi kare work really hard towards it but there's a good chance of something's not working out for you in life because you never know I hope that my life has something better in store for you. So give life another chance and have different set of skills just be up calm for the day. Like if we if we talk about opportunities in this industry this I'm blown ka dimag ruk jata hai acting or modeling pe aake. But there's so much more to do that our industry needs. Like um there's costume designing, there's set designing, there is editing, there is uh a uh, choreography they above from all these things i think there is script writing jaise ki aap jante hain ki hamari drama industry is known worldwide for the kind of work we do lekin hamari movie industry itni groom nahi hai it's trying to flourish nowadays but i think the department where we lack big time is content so i think here's a good opportunity for fresh minds to create something new and you know work on the content and let's say you're not good at it you have your doubts about your capacity of writing then maybe you work as an intern for some production and get to learn your work and then pursue it so there are gazillions of opportunities you just need to know what is best for you and just suit up stand up start working if one thing doesn't work the other one will as i said last question last question before we move to some interesting part acha to how can you bore it tha no more interesting How can people seeking to make it into showbiz groom themselves, and what facilities are present in our industry? I think uh, we are very fortunate to be living in digital age, guys. I mean, just look around. Use media for your uh, for your benefit. Like, आपके पास social media है, which उसको trolling के लिए और negativity spread करने से बेहतर है कि आप उसको अपने benefit के लिए use करें. You can totally get groomed by watching all these videos. and there were times when people used to cry about money issues ke bhai hum padhai afford nahi kar sakte now to everything is like one click away all you need to do is just put a little bit of effort and know what you want to learn and you can even learn it for free kuch courses hain jo paid hain but bahut sari cheeze hain jiske liye aapko pay bhi nahi karna sirf effort dalna hai so i think that is the biggest way to groom yourself agar aapke paas koi outsource help nahi hai you have to give it yourself i mean just 
make up your mind for things, start looking up, start grooming yourself, and make a better person out of it. Those were some very profound answers. Now for some fun. Let's start the most exciting part of this session with Garnish Khan. We'll be asking her some questions related to different things and she'll be answering them in a very short period of time. These are, <laughs> these are known as rapid fire questions and after this segment concludes, you'll be clear why they are called soon. So first of all, we'll be going to make her choose between two things and then you'll have only two seconds to answer those. Let's just begin. My life. Yes. <laughs> dogs, dogs? Dogs or cats? Dogs. A food swap, I would say. Islamabad or Pakistan? Lahore. इस वीडियो के लिए इतना ही